International Raceway, and you can see we're working lap number 140 of 200, 60 to go. And you're looking at uh, Ernie Cope on the pit box, and now we're looking out on the track, and there goes your race leader, Kevin Harvick. And you guys made the comment during the break, we were watching him, he is driving that thing as hard as he can. He really is. He's putting everything into this, trying to keep this car up front. Now, you see the 18 car, he's, he's chipping away at that lead about a tenth of a second a lap. And one thing you got to remember, Kevin Harvick's car, this is his own car. He owns this. I mean, they're out there working on this thing, designing cars. He's not driving for somebody else. This is his own deal. He's really trying to put a good show on tonight for himself, his sponsors around this area, everybody. Well, and the other reason Kyle Busch would like to get around is uh, to get back into contention for those five bonus points for leading the most laps. Right now, Kevin Harvick has led 75. Kyle has led 60. Kyle, talk to us about handicapping the championship battle. I think everybody sort of pinpoints Carl and myself as being the two main competitors for the championship, but I wouldn't count out Brad Kozlowski or, you know, some of the other regular nationwide guys. Uh, Jason Leffler, um, you know, some other guys just might hit it and get on a, on a roll. And that's a, an interesting observation, but I, I do believe everybody is sort of looking at this as a, as a two-guy race right now, the way these two have been duking it out. There you see the battle going on. That is for position. Justin Allgaier in the 12. Jason Leffler in the 38. That is for third. And I'll tell you, that was a smart move that Allgaier just did. Let him go. He's been beating me up. He's been all over me. He hasn't touched him, but he's been so close. He's making Justin loose, and he said, hey, just go ahead. Got a lot of time to race yet. So as uh, he stretches it out there, uh, up in front is Kevin Harvick. There's Kyle Busch. You want to talk about laps led all time? Take a look at this stat. Mark Martin, of course, uh, the all-time leader. Kyle is now second on that list. And tonight, Kevin Harvick has broken through the 6,000 barrier and is third on that list. Dave Burns, you, you've got more on Kyle Busch? He's not going to press Kevin Harvick too much right now. He knows that Kevin stopped on pit road 27 laps earlier than he did. And Kyle, if he's smart and if he needs the strategy, he could perhaps save the seven or so laps of fuel with a few cautions that they need to get to the end without stopping anymore. How about that? Hmm. That would be a stretch. I mean, that's he stopped at lap 124. That means he's going to go 76 laps. Yeah, it's not, it's not out of the question that he can go that far. You know, I said earlier, I, I kind of liked how Kevin pitted that last time to get all that fuel, but this time he stayed out, and now he's got close to 50 laps on it. All right, he's got about 33 laps based on uh, some of the graphs. Well, he last pitted on lap 124. Well, if he knows he's not going to make another pit stop, there's absolutely no reason to try to push Kevin Harvick right now because Ke uh, Kevin Harvick absolutely has to make a pit stop. So uh, why would you go up there and abuse your car to try to take the lead? Now, Harvick last pitted on lap 95. Here we are working lap 146. So you can see, I mean, he's got about... 10 to 14 laps max before he's going to have to come in. Mike Massaro, what do they say? Well, I'd, give you, I'd give you more precise measurement. Ernie Cope came over the radio not too long ago and said they can go to about lap 171. Okay. Yes, they got a few more laps than that. They can go to 171. So that's that still is the 14 figure we were looking at. So we'll still have to fit. We're going to find out uh, how this plays out when we come back to Gateway. way through this race, the 13th time that we've run here in the Nationwide Series at Gateway International. You're looking at the race leader, Kevin Harvick. He has a 7 tenths of a second lead over Kyle Busch. Then you see Jason Leffler in the 38. Move a little further. There's Justin Allgaier. Brad Keselowski rounds out your top five, and he is four seconds behind the race leader. Let's go uh, with a Nationwide up to speed for position six on back. Jamie Little. Well, the six car is what we're talking about right now. Eric Darnell, I've been very impressed with him tonight. He has been fighting a tight race car. Every single stop they've made, they've gone up at least about two rounds on the track bar. Every time, that's how severe it is. The car is finally starting to come around. The kid is keeping it right now in sixth position. I wouldn't be surprised if he got in the top five. Behind him, Reed Sorensen. Remember, he came in. He's in front of him. Now we got around him there. The 30 
Indy too, though. They made the decision last time when they pitted to take that extra time to pull that right front fender out. Great decision. It cost them some time, but hey, guys, it's working out. The car is good, Dave. All right, that white car back there is Carl Edwards. He just got around his teammate Darnell. And what about his fuel situation? Does he have to save anything? Listen. How much do I need to save? Nothing. Save nothing. Save nothing. Dig hard, man. You're really close to making it. You should make it. You will make it. Don't say something. Really I love it. Though. You should make it. Yeah, you will make it. Go for it. Come on, Carl. Try to win. Jamie. Good radio right behind him. The one part of Mike Bliss. Hey, he's surviving those restarts. Remember, he was telling me he had so many nerves about those double file starts. It's paying off for him. Car has been good all weekend. Tight tonight. He's had loose and tight conditions right now. So far, so good, Mike. And Brad Coleman's been battling a clutch problem. It's practically gone. He said he's lost at least 80% of it. The last thing he wants to have see happen is have to make a green flag pit stop. He's hoping that is not the case. He stopped under the last caution. He's been saving fuel ever since, but they're going to be very, very close, Jamie. And in the 29th, Stephen Light making an appearance. He was out of the car for four races. Remember, this team won two races ago with Clint Boyer, so Clint's name is on the door, but right now the 29 car coming around to him, that last stop, they took right sides and made a track bar adjustment as he looks to make it in the top five. Behind him, the 27, Jason Keller. Well, we talked about him tonight. He wrecked his primary car, but then the team had told me today secretly, this is a better car than we had. It's a newer model. It's lighter. They knew that if they could survive this race, it was going to be a good car. This is Jason's track. Last year, he finished third. It was his best finish all year. Right now, he's on the move forward. Dave? Michael Annette in the 15 car runs 13th early in the race. The car was uh, good in the center of the one and two, but loose in the center of three and four. Later, it started coming to him, and he was feeling very comfortable. Uh, he got the lucky dog on lap 95. So, uh, car's a little bit free. They're going to stay out till the end. They're not going to save any fuel. Go for it, Michael, and try to keep that top 15 run going. Jamie? And Tony Ray, the veteran driver, making another appearance in the Nationwide Series. And that 34 car, we saw him pop up quite a few times along Don Silver's car. Not saying a whole lot, been running around about this position the entire race. Car has been good, guys. All right, Jamie, thank you very much. You know, uh, no surprise, Tony is doing well here. His last two trips to Gateway, he has finished in the top 10, and he is the last car on the lead lap in 14th right now. And we have 13 cars behind the wall as uh, we are working lap number 157 of 200. Jason Leffler still looking for that elusive first win of the year. Kyle Busch looking for number six. And Kevin Harvick wants to spoil the party for all of them and win for three times here at Gateway.